In this lesson, we learn how to calculate the magnitude and direction of a vector. We will first consider the magnitude of a vector, which is its length. We consider any vector with an x component of x and a y component of y. We can see its length is the hypotenuse of the right angled triangle and can therefore be found using Pythagoras. The magnitude of V is written like so, with lines either side of V. It is found by squaring X, squaring Y, adding them, and then square rooting them. The direction of a vector is the angle it makes compared to the positive X axis direction. From trigonometry, it is equal to arc tan of y over x. The angle found is the angle from the nearest horizontal direction. For example, find the magnitude and direction of the vector 1, 4. It is shown here with an x component of 1 and a y component of 4. We will first find the magnitude. We substitute x equals 1 and y equals 4 into the formula as shown. 1 squared equals 1, 4 squared equals 16, 1 plus 16 equals 17. Therefore, the magnitude is root 17. We will not calculate this, rather we will leave it inside the square root in exact form. Now the angle theta is found by substituting y equals 4 and x equals 1 to obtain arc tan of 4 over 1. Evaluating this on a calculator, theta equals 76.0. This is the direction of the vector as it is the angle from the positive x axis. Find the magnitude and direction of minus 2, minus 3. The vector is shown with x component minus 2 and y component minus 3. We substitute x equals minus 2 and y equals minus 3 into the magnitude equation. Minus 2 squared equals 4 and minus 3 squared equals 9. 4 plus 9 equals 13, and so the magnitude equals square root of 13. The angle is found by substituting y equals minus 3 and x equals minus 2. Evaluating arc tan minus 3 over minus 2 on a calculator, theta equals 56.3 degrees. However, the direction of the vector is always from the positive x direction, as shown by the black arrow. We travel 180 degrees from the positive x direction until we reach theta. We add 180 to 56.3 to obtain 236.3 degrees. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.